Well hello and welcome along to another match day vlog from the Honest Football Podcast and this one is slightly different. It's just me Daniel today and as you can see behind me I'm at the home of Milton Keynes Dons. It's a League One fixture and it's quite a big one today. It's MK Dons v Wimbledon and obviously anyone over the age of sort of 15 or 20 will know the history behind this one or particularly if you're a fan of Wimbledon. So this is going to be quite a big game. We've got a pitch view hotel room, so we will have some match action today, hopefully from EFL football. However, it will be through the guise of a hotel balcony door, which won't be opened for today's fixture. So plenty to look forward to for me. The football fix from the EFL is back at last. And of course, this is quite a big game as well. At the start of the season for our League One predictions, which you can see in the eye above, I predicted for MK Dons to go down. At the time, it was three or four weeks before the end of the transfer window. They'd lost a few key players and not really replaced them at the time. They have done that now and they seem to be doing well. Dean Lewington in midweek before this game made his 800th appearance, an absolutely monstrous achievement. And AFC Wimbledon, a good side as well. The Plough Lane return coming this season. Obviously, unfortunately, with no fans at the moment. But a really good opportunity for these two rivals to go head-to-head. -head. It's going to be a brilliant day. I can't wait for the match. And I hope you're looking forward to it too. So if you are, please do chuck a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe for more from the Honest Football Podcast. Weekly championship predictions as well. Every match day, we have got our predictions. And slight spoiler... They're not usually very good. It is the most unpredictable league in the world after all. But we're focusing on League One today. It's MK Dons v Wimbledon. And I will be back pre-match with all the team news and the stats ahead of the game. Well, it's time for the stats preview here ahead of kickoff. Obviously, let us know your predictions down below what you think will happen. As we've been met by a bit of a deluge of rain here. But there we go. Hopefully too late for it to be called off or any questions at all, particularly at a modern stadium like this. For MK Dons, a difficult start to the season. They find themselves down in the bottom half, just eight points from their opening nine games. Away form has been a problem. However, seven points in their last three home games, including two successive wins. Firstly, against Dark Horses, Gillingham, but then against Wigan this midweek, a 2-0 victory again. And that's left them a little bit clear of that relegation pack early on. Cameron Jerome, the experienced centre forward, becoming a key player in attacking areas. And a few others starting to find form now. And of course that landmark for Dean Lewington we mentioned earlier. In terms of Wimbledon though, probably the picture of inconsistency this year. Three wins, three draws, three defeats. A goal difference of zero. You don't quite know what you're going to get. They have picked up four points this week, a draw on the road at Burton, and then a win again in midweek, this time against Blackpool, the side that MK lost at away last weekend. In terms of Wimbledon, it's goals that have been the problem recently, which would surprise those who watched the first couple of weekends this season. So they haven't scored more than one in a league game since the 19th of September, and that was that crazy four-all draw against Plymouth Argyle. So hopefully the goals will come flooding back. They're led up front normally by former Luton man Joe Piggott. We had him on loan a few years back, often accused of perhaps not working hard enough or busting a gut to get in the box at those points, but he's become a key player for Wimbledon over the last couple of years. So I'll be interested to see how his game's changed. I did get to see a few games here at MK Dons last season. Myself and Craig watched a game against Burton Albion in the away end, and then Craig and Charlie came and watched them against Tranmere here, which obviously started a row of Tranmere games we watched. And then I was here for the Portsmouth game over the Christmas Christmas New Year period, where Portsmouth brought 4,500 away fans, but unfortunately their performance didn't match. And that was after Russell Martin, the current MK Dons manager, had taken over. And he seems to have done a brilliant job since, and on that day they were absolutely fantastic. So a much changed squad for them since then though, it'll be interesting to see how they adapt. We'll be back in a moment with the pre-match build-up and the team news as it comes in. Just a few minutes to kick off here at Stadium MK. Milton Kingsdons have named an unchanged team from the one that won against Wigan on Tuesday night. Carlton Morris back on the bench if they need a super sub for goals though. Wimbledon have made a couple of changes. Joe Piggott captains the side, a man we talked about earlier. So it could be a very close game this. But the teams will be out in a minute. Hopefully you'll have some action of the teams warming up as we go through this talk. And we'll be back at half time with a bit more. See you there.
it's half time at Stadium MK. It is Milton Keynes Dons 1, Wimbledon 1. A very good start to the game, frantic, high tempo. It's exactly what you would expect from a rivals clash, but not what we've seen behind closed doors a lot of the time this season. Wimbledon came out of the traps really well. They were playing direct from the fullbacks up to the centre forward, and that's what got them their goal. A sort of hopeful ball over the top, and Joe Piggott with a brilliant touch. The man we talked about pre match. Definitely improved a great deal since he was on loan at Luton a few years back. Bought it down brilliantly, rounded the keeper, great composure, and just slid it into the empty net. A brilliant start for Wimbledon. Milton Keynes, though, back on level terms just a couple of minutes later. Lovely football to open up the defence of Wimbledon. We talked about it pre-match under Russell Martin. A lot less direct, playing a lot better football. And to be fair, they have tried to do that throughout with differing levels of success throughout the half. But on this occasion, it was out wide. Stephen Walker got the ball, split the lines, found Cameron Jerome, and he cut back for Scott Fraser, who made it 1-1. They've been generally trying to play a little less directly, trying to play across the back, trying to play out from the back, which has caught them out a few times, particularly Richard Keogh and Dean Lewinton on the left side of the defence. Does lack a little bit in terms of pace, but they have been okay generally and have dealt with most of the threat. And to be fair, Milton Keynes-Dons, straight from the kickoff, as you saw in the first highlight, nearly had a goal within 20 seconds. Cameron Jerome put the ball in the top corner, peeling off to the left as he has so many times in this first half. But unfortunately, he was a judge to be offside for Milton Keynes. But there weren't really any complaints, so you have to assume that was the correct decision. It's been quite a feisty game, a couple of late challenges, a couple of yellow cards already, but a really good high-tempo match and one that we've certainly enjoyed. Good to be back at football, a bit weird without any crowd or crowd noise, obviously, in the stadium. But either way, it's one all at half-time and the tempo's good, so hopefully we'll have a bit more of the same in the second. Milton Keynes certainly relying on playing through the middle. Lassie Sorensen on loan from Stoke has created a lot going down that left side of central midfield, almost playing that sort of classic playmaker role. And Wimbledon playing out to the fullbacks and forward towards Joe Piggott, who has been absolutely brilliant so far. He's given a lot of problems to the MK Don centre-halves. His hold-up play's been really good, and they've had good runners off him as well. So it's something they've clearly worked on. And so far, they've had a lot of success with it. So on to the second half. I'll be very surprised if this stays 1-1. But let's see who can get in front. A little bit dark here now at eight. Stadium MK for full time. It finishes 1-1 and I kind of kiboshed it at half time. It was a pretty poor second half. Neither team really had many clear cut chances. One good save from the MK keeper in goal from a six yard range header. But aside from that there wasn't a great deal. MK just had the one shot on target all game of course the goal and that offside chance that we saw right at the start in the first highlight of the match. Very comfortable in possession the second half, defended a lot better against Joe Piggott, and Jack Fredoni came off with about a quarter of the game to go, and he was making most of those runs in behind for Wimbledon. So it did make it a little bit harder, because they didn't really have an outlet then. Piggott was holding it up at times, but no one was coming with him, and eventually possession bounced back, which made it quite difficult. So in the end, a point is probably a fair result. I wouldn't say either team overwhelmingly did enough to win it, Maybe Wimbledon had a fair share of the set pieces. I think they had one more corner and one or two free kicks in good positions. And you saw that in the first half with the brief chances I managed to show there. There were mainly set pieces that were coming in. Free kicks, corners, whatever it may be. And that's where most of the chances came. One of the things I did find the weirdest attending, and probably you will have listening as well, is there wasn't really any acoustics at all. And I know the Milton Keynes Stadium has its own tradition. It's not normally hugely full and it gets the mick taken out of it for it. But it was really strange being here when it's empty. There was no real atmosphere at all. There wasn't much more sound than you could hear in the background when those set pieces were coming in. And it was really strange. Just the odd shout from a player coming. So a bit of a strange game. A strange occasion to be at. But I'm glad I got to see some live EFL football. It finishes one all in this stadium. And you can see everyone just packing up behind us now. 
But it was a good game. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed seeing a few highlights at the least. If you did enjoy this video though, please do put a thumbs up on it. Subscribe down below for regular content from the podcast. We'll have our next Championship Match Day predictions over the next couple of days as there's another midweek fixture list coming. I think Charlie's had a good weekend looking back at the scores today so far. Hopefully you can still see my face a little. You can follow us over on Twitter at HonestFootball3. And thank you for watching as always. Hopefully we'll see you next time.